Hey, nerdlings! Yo, nerdlings! Do you know what's better than PB and J? Cheese. DYN and VGM. Woo! I'm Walter Day, the father of esports, and you're watching the DYN. That's right, nerdlings. Best time of the month because that means there are brand new, old school video games in the mailbox. Brand new, old video games? Brand new, old school. Okay. <gasps> hey, it's your boy Floyd! It is our boy Floyd, and Floyd likes to bring us retro games each month. We do not rent these, we get to keep these. You subscribe, there are various tiers, and you can get old games and not so old games. Something Lady Lacey likes to do is to blindly hand them off to me. Sometimes she takes forever and keeps me in suspense because that's just how she is. All right, here is the card that tells you, hey, don't forget VGM utilizes a list online that has all of your games so they do not send you any duplicates as long as you update it. So update it. Ready? Tony, back of the day gamer, update your list. You ready for your free gift? That sounds like a clicky pen. It's a clicky pen. It's, it's a, a nice pen. But it's a nice pen. Wow. Wow, guys. Up in the game. Damn, guys. Nice. Nicely done. It's got a good ergonomic design to it. There's a nice rubberized comfort grip to avoid any slippage. And the metal clasp is going to make sure that you're not going to have any breakage putting this in your pocket. It's a pen. You guys know how it works. I got her. <laughs> All right, you ready for your ups? Ups, multi ups. Bring. Take it. Bring. Oh, we got a two up. We subscribe to the three game box. We've got five gaming goodies Wait, in here. We do. All right, so the first one has a green devil on it. <laughs> wow. Wow. No, wait, seriously, Green Devil. It's white Devil, White Devil? Yes. You speak what you do? It's an N64 game. Oh, okay, I'm not gonna get that. I don't know the N64 very well. But you work Whoa. So we've got some kind of uh, Green Lantern Thanos here in space. And that's really about all I can tell. That's like an ocean world there. It says Midway. Aren't those like like you know carnival games? Oh, it's rate it's rated mature. Oh, I forgot to give you this card. This says take a picture of all the stuff you got and you could win games. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I I am not familiar with War Gods, but a name like War Gods, produced by Midway, I'm going to guess fighting game. How'd I do, future Tom? Ready for a Across the Pond 64 game? Ooh, got some Japanese. And it has to do with our barrel. Oh, so maybe Donkey Kong. Wait, I think we've got Donkey Kong 64 from Japan before. So it's not that. It's the little one. Is it one. Diddy Kong Racing? Maybe. He's in an inner tube. <laughs> he could be a Diddy Kong floaty. This is a very curious cover because, yeah, that totally does look like he's in an inner tube. He's in a tube, but it has handles. His arm and tail is kind of weirding me out. That looks weird. We like to get the uh, the Japanese games just for fun, especially if it's a game you're familiar with because then you get to sit down to go through it and see if there are any differences that you notice. Maybe some different music tracks. <laughs> I gotta keep the Nintendo love alive. I'm fine with it. Star Wars? Oh. So, Star Wars Flight of the Falcon. All I can think of is Flight of the Concord. Friends walk together. La 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 la. Pop and lock together. Or Flight of the Beast. <laughs> Okay, sorry. <laughs> so is this the Millennium Falcon? That's an aluminum falcon! <laughs> what the hell is an aluminum falcon? 
I am very pleased to get a Game Boy Advance game because with that player on the GameCube means I don't have to break my hands. And Star Wars, that, ooh, could go either way. Although, Flight of the Falcon, I feel like they're talking about the Millennium Falcon. So, is this like maybe more of a uh, space sim or like a racer type thing instead of an maybe, action game? Maybe, maybe. Well, like I said, we're gonna keep the Nintendo love going. Oh, it's a Nintendo box, isn't it? Not a box. Ha 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 ha! Is that Mickey? Uh huh. <laughs> we have on Game Boy Mickey's Dangerous Chase. And it looks like uh, Mickey is running up the stairs after Pete, who stole a present. Clearly, Mickey has never seen a horror movie. You don't run up the stairs. Well, speaking of horror movie, there's like hardly any banister left on this stair, and there's like spider webs and Goofy's pictures upside down. I don't even know what's going on. Now, the Mickey Mouse games can be very hit or miss. Uh, some of them are really good. Some are, I think they're a little more forgettable. So I'm very curious to check this out and yeah, see, if, uh, see if it's just as good. Not as good as Mickey Mania, but you know, it could still be fun, maybe. Our last game, they had to break the Nintendo cycle. No. Oh. It's a Sega. Sega! And it's Krusty's Fun House. Oh, nice. So Krusty's Fun House, we got it in the case, and... <gasps> Oh, Ooh, very look at nice. That. It's look not complete that. though. Look, the tabby's been cut off. God. I told you guys. We recently got another copy of Krusty's Funhouse, and I told you the whole premise. Yeah, I wasn't was killing to play the mice. it because you kill the mice, <laughs> and I don't like that. Although I'm, I'm loving how good it looks on the Genesis. I mean, it looks gorgeous. Yeah, this will be fun. Ooh, do you think of the Genesis I could put in the blood code and it'll be like total carnage for these poor little mice? <laughs> by the way, I like how it says down here featuring the Simpsons. So you maybe. You couldn't tell by the cover? Well, maybe Krusty wasn't going to sell it for you, but once you saw that the Simpsons Bart's are on in the it. the freaking cover! Of course. All of this looks like Blockbuster. That's what I was thinking at first, too, actually. I thought it was a Blockbuster thing. <laughs> All right. Well, there are our five games. I know that Peter Bateman would have loved to have tried Diddy's on uh, the Japanese one. Would you buy it for a buck? Is that the phrase? Would you buy that for a buck? Who knows? I bought this for a buck. He definitely would have known if there were any differences. <laughs> he loved that game. <laughs> Fireworks! <laughs> Gotta love those fireworks! So, nerdlings, let us know if you happen to like the video by leaving it a like. But also, get down in those comments, tell us about some of these games. Yeah. Did you, uh, mass murder some mice? <gasps> Stop talking about murdering mice! <laughs> Do you like your Star Wars or your Mickey Mouse on handheld? Do your Mickey Mouse! <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> Come on, Pluto! We gotta blow up the Death Star! Oh. Oh. Wow, Mickey got dark. <laughs> I'm Mickey Mouse, I'm here to save you! <laughs> Aren't you a little short for a stormtrooper? <laughs> and how's the helmet fit on those ears? <laughs> also, let us know if you've played War Gods, and uh, maybe let me know what I'm getting into. And be sure to check out VGM. I'm going to leave a link in the description. Tell them, do you nerd sent you so that they yeah. know that we appreciate all of the games they're sending us because it's fun. All right, nerd ladies. I will see you later. I'm going to go play some games. Did, did you have anything else? Yeah. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public because we've got merchandise over there. And if we like it, Sega!
We nerd it. <laughs> Just gonna keep that face. That's it. Rap, rap, rap. Rusty hungry. Um, um. I'm sorry, Floyd. <laughs> That's right, nerdlings. It is. I probably shouldn't be shaking that around. <laughs> probably shouldn't be showing the address no. either. First box ever. Yes. You're fired. <laughs> we would like for you to like and subscribe to our channel. <laughs> I already said all that part. You did? Yeah, it's your turn. Oh. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> I did that again. Third time. Try it third time. Okay, ready? Yep. Are you ready? Yep. Okay. All right.